Hey, Minifish. It's the 7th of December, 2018. And I do not typically, I've, I've never been much to go to the stars and whatnot. I don't use Stellarium, and, but I do know that they are absolutely what we are to be looking toward for signs and whatnot, right? I mean, I don't know the constellations well and the, which stars are which or anything, and but I've been led there a couple times lately, and the last one was, you know, the last video when, you know, the moon, the sun, the, the weird stuff that I was basically finding in there, you know? Well, today, just, just bear with me on this, right? I see this article, this comes out today, BBC, and it says the MSF ship Aquarius ends migrant rescues in Mediterranean. And at first, I don't really think much of it. And then I remembered conversation I was having with my brother John yesterday. And this came up in conversation, the fact that in Aquarius, see, I'm not, I'm not super learned in this, okay? But in the constellation Aquarius, today, tonight, you're having a conjunction of Mars and Neptune. And the only thing I really can tell you about Mars and Neptune is what I've learned through the Roman mythology, Greek mythology, their pantheon of gods and offspring from them and so on and so forth. You know, like Neptune and Poseidon are essentially the same deity, except Roman and Greek, right? This is Roman, Mars, and Neptune, and they're conjuncting at 1440 UTC, to be exact. I guess this is Eastern time, 1636 is 436, so like right after dark. Um, but that's strange because, you know, like I say, I don't get into the stars and stuff. And they're in Aquarius, right? And, you know, I see this Aquarius in... There was one more thing that I have to... There it is. Uh, this is the actual, like, site where this ship, you know, these people operate out of. But they got a big giant SOS on this orange ship, you know? The ship, orange... Uh, it's just crazy. The orange, of course, you know, the 33, the SOS, which is the 333, I mean, that's how it's been interpreted to me before. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 333, the SOS, you can actually, if you look at it in numerology, it's different and what have you. But this is just what came to me this morning, and it's conjuncting in Aquarius with Mars, yada, 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 I'll link everything. Um, it just came upon me that this was something I, I should share and leave links because you guys are better at this stuff than I am. So I'll do that. There was something else that I'm not remembering here. Oh, yeah. Check this out. The, the name of the ship is the MSF Aquarius. Well, I was literally led to just pop that into uh, Gematria. And the Jewish on it is pretty, you know, unusual, let's say, you know. And it, it has the same value as order out of chaos. And I'm not led right now to go into these numbers, but I was led just to put this in and see what it was. And, you know, all these numbers can be uh, interpreted. The 777 seems to be very prevalent, and it's leading in my spirit, it, to me, I define 777 as the devil's jackpot. That's just how it's been given to me. You know, it's like it's not good all the time. It can be good, but in this context, it's not good. Okay, because we're talking about their godhood, their pantheon of... And these are literal, spiritual, fallen entities that these men are drawing this knowledge from whether they know it or not through their their life through their works through the fruit of their lives and what comes out of their mouths whether it's lies or truth 
they are garnering these spiritual understandings and developing technologies that will make them God-like. They can control the weather. They can control the sun. They can control the, you know what I mean? They can create tsunamis, storms, uh, snowstorms, hurricanes. Think about it. They have become like gods, and they are about to try and reach their hand forth for the tree of life. It's just crazy what's going on. But God's working, man, and as long as you're on the side of Jesus... You know, you're 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 on the right ship. You're on the right boat. You see what I mean? They they're trying to mock and imitate God. Jesus calmed the seas. Jesus walked on the waters. And in Neptune, you know, you got Neptune and Mars war. And I mean, you could go into these these characters because that's what they are. They're characters. Neptune and Poseidon. It, it, it's really kind of crazy, but it's true. You know, the god of the seas and the fish and earthquakes even. Okay, god of sea additionally is referred to as the earth shaker due to his role in causing earthquakes. Neptune, you know, and of course Mars, you know, god of war, agriculture. But, I mean, that's just kind of crazy. And again, this isn't usually my forte for the stars and things, but I knew I had to share this. So, that's what I'm a doing. And I pray that you're all having a blessed day. Peace and grace to each and every one of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 